So I wanted to show you guys um, and explain how a, a chain tensioner works on um, M104 engines. Uh, this particular uh, chain tensioner came off the uh, 1997 uh, S320 and so main function obviously is to uh, put some uh, pressure on uh, on the uh, uh, shoe that basically uh, the chain rides on and just keep the pressure on the, on the, on the chain and so it doesn't flop around now removing this uh, ch uh, chain tensioner um, you can just take a socket I think this is a 27 millimeter socket let's check Yeah, it looks like 27 millimeter socket. So, and you can unbolt this thing as as an assembly. Um, except um, when you're going to be finished doing your work, um, you cannot install it same way as you removed it. What you need to, to do in order to install is you need to separate the inner cylinder or the piston from the outside and the reason for that is that when you unbolt the uh, chain tensioner the inner piston will slide out uh, under the force of the spring so and as it slides out if you notice there's a little retaining ring or split ring that's here uh, that also keeps jumping if I can show you you see there are little grooves machined inside so as the force of the spring pushes this piston out because there's no more force um, keep, keeping it inside so this piston moves out and this re uh, retaining ring or the split ring will jump from one groove to another until it reaches the end so now if you see when this thing is all the way out and you're trying to install and your chain is not stretched which is say it's a normal chain and you're trying to install it in this position um, the retaining or the, that uh, split ring does not allow that piston to compress anymore so it has a limit so as you keep cranking on this uh, outer uh, cylinder or outer body and the, ch the the inner cylinder does not go back anymore basically you're just putting extra pressure on the chain itself and if you have it in this position you're gonna have too much pressure on the chain and when you start obviously either you're gonna damage the the, the, the chain shoe or you're gonna damage the chain um, you might even uh, break the chain the, my, uh, the, the chain might break because the, the pressure is enormous there so why I'm doing this video because a friend of mine almost made this mistake when he was uh, rebuilding his uh, um, he was doing some, some oil leak and uh, he didn't think much and he tried to install it this way and uh, lucky for him he uh, he stopped and started thinking why is the chain over over tight like there wasn't any play in it at all so like I said again if you want to reinstall it you separate you remove the inner piece there's a hex which sits here you take it out you slide these pieces out okay so for installation you take this piece okay um, you take a new washer and this is just a, a crush washer so you install it you install this piece and you torque it to 80 newton meters so after that now you can install the inner parts uh, with one hand so you take this you install this in you push it all the way in okay then you take a hex and 
let's see so basically you're gonna you're gonna compress the spring so it's gonna be some force to be applied and when you be installing the spring you're gonna be compressing uh, sorry not the spring when you're gonna be installing this uh, call it plug or the end you're gonna be compressing the spring okay and and you have to torque and if you notice sorry that you also need to buy a new crush washer okay replace it that's what uh, Mercedes recommends every time you replace this uh, chain tensioner you install a new crush washer here and here so and you torque this to 80 Nm and this is one is torqued to 40 Nm so and that's how you install the reinstall the chain tensioner so like I said do not try and install this thing as an assembly and try to compress the inner cylinder back the installation or the proper installation of the chain tensioner is done through the back end call it so it's done through this end well that's pretty much it thanks for watching guys